Hello Gemini and welcome to your July 2021 video. So Jupiter is in retrograde but it's going to be moving to Aquarius. So think three months prior. What were you doing? Because now you have the energy to complete it this month going forward until the end of the year. But we will talk about that later in the video. On the 10th of July we have a new moon happening in your second house. On the 12th we have Mercury in your second house. Now, the second house rules, resources, talents, creative ideas, money, value. How do you value yourself? Your self-worth, all of those things. New beginnings when it comes to your money. What do you want to create in your life? New beginnings when it comes to your abundance. What hobbies do you want to create to generate more abundance? How do you feel about the money in your life? Worth is so important, your self-worth um, and also self-value, wanting to spend time around people who support you. Support is important. You're looking for value within your relationships as well as value within yourself to feel valued. You have a lot of creative ideas and you can share that wisdom and knowledge with others because the ideas come in the form of Mercury, where you'll be thinking a lot when it comes to your talents, your strong points, what do you have to offer and your offerings and actually seeing the value within yourself and wanting to spend time around people who actually value that, where you can offer your input. Very good for money, for energy around those aspects, new moon time, real good. 22nd, Venus moves into the fourth house. So now with Venus here in the fourth house, this has a lot to do with your home environment. You either want to beautify your home, make your home feel more comfortable, make your home feel more like, ah, home is where the heart is, right? Venus rules love. So making yourself feel really comfortable within your home, even the fourth house rules family, finding, your, finding yourself feeling loved by family or soul family, but wanting to really connect on a heart to heart level in those aspects. On the 23rd, the sun joins Mars on in the third house. Communication, networking, sharing information, new ideas, learning something new, teaching something new. That's the energy of the third house. Sunday illuminates, Mars takes action. You have the motivation, you have the opportunities to share information, to learn information, to gather information. And sometimes the information we can learn, like someone says something and that like, okay, <laughs> I know the boundary is with you. That's information too. We always think of information like it has to be technical or, oh, that information you shared about that technique, you know, maybe of how you saving money can really help me <laughs> or like um, information in the terms of if we were to look at it like, oh, that person shared something that really helps boost their health. That's really good for me. I think I want to do it because the sun draws vitality and Mars is the motivation and physical energy we have to do things as well. So the third house, teaching. You could even teach or share it yourself. You can have tips to share it to others, to teach it to someone or learn it from somebody else. Very good energy for writing, writing down your ideas. If you want to write a book, that's the time to do it. On the 24th, full moon in the ninth. So yeah, you're letting go, but it's a lot about letting go experiences that hold us back. Gaining wisdom gaining a deep sense of wisdom over the experiences and things that we held, had and conversations and things that happened that hold us back. So now we can release it. It's also the ninth house might even suggest like taking some time out, taking a trip, trying to get yourself together, looking for that adventure. You know, a change of view gives us a change of perspective. And that's what this energy requires. It's very good. Because the ninth house is all about experiences and letting go experiences that don't serve you and generating and creating experiences that are good for you. Don't serve you meaning, yes, you learned something from an experience. It could have been not good for you, but you learned something that could be hurtful. But you learned something and you take that, what you learned, but you don't allow the experience to break you down as a person. On the 28th, we have Mercury in the third house, communication. So yeah, it's all about communication and learning and sharing information, gaining information, and you'll be thinking a lot. So take some time out because when Mercury's in the third house and Mercury rules information, com uh, communication, our thoughts travel even. And then the third house also rules the exact same thing. It's ruled by Mercury. So take some time out if you find yourself overwhelmed in thought and overthinking and over you know analyzing things good time for trips too small breaks never hurt anyone you know a little drive a little change of scenery is very good for the soul on the 29th jupiter retrograde in the ninth house 
okay now think about what you started <laughs> three months prior what were you learning jupiter wisdom opportunity ninth house teaching information all of that wisdom experience now gives you the energy to complete it if there's anything that you want to do when it comes to travel when it comes to information when it comes to learning whether you want to study something learn something teach something you know take someone maybe you have a team under you and you're teaching them something that's the energy that where you can complete it from now till the end of the year on the 30th mars in the fourth house so now you want to take action when it comes to your living environment renovations motivated to kind of change things up you know declutter make the space feel more comfortable but it also has to do with family soul family if you're not connected like sometimes you're finding yourself disconnected from family and too much is going on and maybe you want to connect to like your soul family the people that you pull into your heart because home is where the heart is and the fourth house rules home it rules heart in the emotional sense of where we feel comfortable and the people we feel comfortable around and the comfort we feel on the physical and emotional level so that's what you'll be doing with that energy. Mars and emotion baits you and gives you the energy and the vitality to take action upon those things and make those changes. Thank you so much for watching.